Cheers. Yeah. Cheers, Loretta. Welcome. Welcome. Cheers. Boom. Look up this stuff. Don't get too comfortable because it's going to be a rough interview. It's going to mm. be. It's got some hard. What's hardball? You know me. I play people rough. People are okay. going to be making. I tell you what. People are going to forget all other conversations and all the drama is going to be about this show once we're through with all the all, all, all the dramatic stuff that we are going. Okay. Right. I've got my I got my my gloves on. <laughs> so okay. uh, let's start. For me, this is kind of really cool actually because this is really the first time I've talked. Have, I, have we ever talked? I don't think we've talked before. I think I've like we've commented with each other. That's exactly. about as far as it's gone. <laughs> but like, have we actually like voice talked before? No. This is a first. I don't think I've actually ever like seen your face, or, like your blue eyes. Like this is all a first for me. Yeah. They get more and more out of focus as I get closer to the camera. But <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. So 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 yeah. It's first conversation with Kimisha. Although you've been around as long or longer than me, actually. I think you've been around on YouTube for a long time, right? Like forever. I I think I have like the the record of being like the longest standing J vlogger who hasn't been in Japan until recently. It's like I was around when it was like what it was like Victor Apple Milk Tofu Goo. Yeah. I don't even remember. Oh, remember Sammy? Thirty three Sammy. Thirty three. Of course. And then who else? Yes. There was like Max Das and other people. And Samantha Bueno. You know her. He called. Oh yeah. Like That's those were right. those are the golden days. Yeah. Golden. Before he he called him second generation. He was right. They were simpler times. <laughs> they really were. <laughs> they really really were. Uh, I, I, it actually blew my mind to learn just recently that all this time you have been doing all your videos from outside of Japan, actually. Although yeah. You, you always lived here. So I, I always try to just leave it vague for the sense of, like, relevance. I feel like the more I'm like, hey, guys, I'm in New York, the more people click off. Star Wars. But <laughs> I've always just tried to, like, if I went to Japan, I would shoot, like, a crap ton of B-roll or, like, a lot of mm -hmm. different videos and then just, like, because I'm a slow uploader, it would just take me like until I got back to upload them all. So, is this like a confession that you lied to all your subscribers? Yeah, a little bit. It's, it's like I, I think I need to actually come clean with like a timeline video of like, guys, let's set it straight. Yeah, not, everybody, not today. don't get angry, okay? <laughs> I know there's going to be a lot of angry response videos to this. Yes. Like, I think people just girl. need to keep everything in perspective. <laughs> uh, but yes, I, indeed. Well, so but the thing is, like, you are fluent. And, and, and I'm not someone who uses that term at all lightly because, you know, you have a lot of people who claim claim to be fluent and they're really not. And, you know, when you live, when I've lived in Japan 17 years, when I say mm -hmm. so, someone comes across as fluent, you know, I mean that yeah. as like yes. you can progress as a Japanese and you do. So how in the hell are you so fluent at Japanese when you haven't been here all this time? Um, I have that question. Um, I've pretty much been like, <laughs> like I never. Even, I, you'd think, I told okay. you think? Bring the tough questions. So that's like the, the first part of the answer is I have been learning for 14 years now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's I guess that's like the first step to it. But I pretty much have always been like a maniac, and I've uploaded like a bunch of videos about like how I would like literally record my voice all the time. Like I worked in a library underground, like catacombs for four years. You're not allowed to talk. Just, so like, how can you get away speaking a language if you're in a library where everyone's like shh all the time? So I would like record my own voice and then listen back to it and then if I had like a friend I would make them listen to it and I'd re-record it or I'd like I had um, there was this there was this podcast in Australia SBS Japanese yeah. mm -hmm. and I would mimic all of their speeches there's like oh this week is about like the sake what's it called the master of sake and this week's mm -hmm. about like I don't know like a comedy club in Japan so I would like imitate all of their conversations that's great. <laughs> just feels um, probably that that my aircon's hitting the <laughs> the mic. Is air conditioner? Yeah. So that I basically was like insane. Listen, I feel like the more you listen to your own voice, the more you can actually like hear where you're screwing up. I think that's um, very true. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're actually testament to the fact that that's a fantastic technique, and it's not something that you hear a lot of people doing. But yeah, I mean, your sound, as you say, you've obviously practice it over and over to get the sound right and it comes across really well so it reminds I mean, there were like two movies it reminds me of there's one it was like music within and the other one was the king speech where 
these people, like, they learn rhetoric in terms of technicality. Like, they force themselves to learn speeches. But at, like, the crux of, like, the movie where it gets really interesting, some mentor walks in and is like, but you don't know how to say anything on your own. You're just a parrot. And I was like, I've been, like, a parrot this whole time. Like, if anyone actually knew. <laughs> well, you know what? That's such a stupid thing to say, actually, because... I'm not you. I mean the person who said it. Because... I Someone mean, said that to you? Mm-hmm. No, in the King's Speech, right? That, 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 that's me. Oh, okay, sorry. Oh, then it is you. And I was saying that's a stupid thing. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to call you stupid just now. Um, <laughs> you hear his voices in our head, too, Hiko. <laughs> they're everywhere, they're everywhere. But we're all parrots. I mean, kids yeah. grow up, we learn English as parents. We copy our children, our parents. That's why we all have the same accents as our parents. That's why, you know, everyone has different accents to the correct accent of English, which is, which is the New Zealand one. Yeah. Um, oh. <laughs> I pronounce certain English words like a Spaniard. Yeah, uh, yeah. Ballet or fillet growing up. Yeah. My father said it. So, so this I is the him. thing. The problem is we all turn into adults and we go to universities and we try to learn language in this higher kind of intellectual, theoretical, conceptual, mm. grammatical thing, which is so completely removed from the actual way. I mean, it's like... We assume that the second language is like we have to learn like a science subject and, and in a completely different way to the way we learned our first language. When my experience was, I sucked as a Japanese student. I, I, I didn't qualify for third year Japanese. Um, I got to do a few papers. I took my way into a few papers. But it was when I started learning a little bit like you, but basically yeah. going back to learning how a kid would learn the language as a first language that I got on top of it. So. The, there's another part of it too where it's like I've always been super embarrassed of like making an ass of myself in class. So like uh -huh. I had classes like in high school and in college and like I knew we'd talk about certain things in class. So like every day the night before that class I would literally memorize the entire textbook of that section uh -huh. so that if they would call on me I'd be like, oh, I'll just easily like mm -hmm. da 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 da. In but, New Zealand we address the same problem. What was that? Sorry, go ahead. Uh, no, I was just gonna say the same problem. We have the same problem in New Zealand. Everyone's really shy and they're really afraid of looking like ass hats in Japanese <laughs> class. So what we all do is we don't study, and then during class we hide, <laughs> um, and it, it results in bad grades. But um, no, no, no I was that one person so who was like, if I raise my hand now, she won't call on me afterwards. Uh, so let me just get my one bit now, and then like get it over with. That's ah. actually that's a very smart approach. <laughs> And that's actually that Think all through life. No, that works all through life. That's <laughs> like in business meetings, like where you didn't do any of the preparation, but you know this part. I'm gonna talk now. Call the shots. <laughs> that's why I'm the first woman who would take me. That's life advice. Yeah, so sorry. Until you make it. I'm already dominating um, this. Tell us about he does that. He's an ass. Hey. <laughs> I am. Tell us about your history. Yeah. Tell us about your history. Um, Japanese history. I mean. Which part? <laughs> Well, no, no. In high school, how many years? In college, how many years? Ah, okay, okay. So private brief tutors, nutshell, whatever. Else. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so brief nutshell: four formal years of class in high school, two formal years in college, and then there were no more classes after that. So I started TAing at my college, actually. So I got to teach the classes for two years, and then in between, I was going to Japan for like study abroad during the summers, but then once I graduated, that's when I started doing like other scholarships, so I did like a college scholarship in Kyoto after that, and then it was like six years of dead space where I like lost my mind, and then now I'm back on the horse again. Like, oh, like really? I think I've How many years of dead age. space? How many years of dead space? I mean, it technically wasn't dead space, but like six, there are six years where I've been like on my own doing like Applied learning, but not really like learning the language. I kind of, I kind of study very little. Like a couple, uh, pick up a, a word or two a day, or I see something on news, I'll make a note of it or something. But you mean like that, that kind of learning? Um, well, I, I used to work as a reporter in New York, so I had yeah. to like pretend like I knew something. I mean, I think I knew something. <laughs> um, so I, I had to learn in order to do the work. But other than that, I didn't. I guess I didn't really study. But now I'm screwed. I'm, I'm in school again, so I'm like completely screwed. <laughs> oh, you're in school again. I didn't know that. I thought, yeah, you, were, I thought you were doing something really successful. Oh, no, no, no. I am. Hey, <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> I'm, um, yeah. You're just a laser guy. student. Wrong guy. You want him, not me. <laughs> uh, curve left. No, so I'm back. So what, so what are you doing? Tell us, tell us, give us the, uh, the spiel. Your 
So I'm back on the, the Max oh, scholarship, um, the Mambu Karakshu. Yeah. So I'm doing oh. my graduate studies in business management here, which is like a total oxymoron, but wow. it's essentially it's it's a master's in business administration, but it is not an MBA. You cannot you cannot shorten it. It's really weird. <laughs> so didn't Ryman Gaijin do something like that? Do you remember him? Yeah. I feel he like did. he did like I an did, is that I what he did? He did actually MBA. He didn't <laughs> I think I don't know if she, uh, he was shortening it, so I don't know if it's the same thing, but yes, he just completed that a few months ago. I think so he just finished it. Congratulations to him. Congrats to him, yeah. Well, like, so I have the option to do the actual MBA course or to do this level course, but looking at like what I want to get out of it, if I do the actual MBA course, I'm going to be sitting with like 40-year-old men who just want a promotion. Hey, it's a 40-year-old man what who promotes myself. <laughs> I think, uh, let's just be very careful That's what, what you're doing right now, you're sitting well, with 40-year-old men. Okay, so so let, let me rephrase. So I, I have, from my experience, I have work experience in business management. I have Japanese experience in language and culture. But what I don't have is business experience in Japan, and I don't have a network of business here. So I'm trying to build like a network of peers that I can build up with. And there's no work. There's no worth like working with 40 year old men who are like, I just need the promotion. When I'm trying to build like an entrepreneurial like track see, with a I group see. of people. Your goals so. are different. Yeah. So I'm trying to like stick with the people who will. Take me there. I know you. T I think you told me before, but I've forgotten your age. Are you? Are you in your twenties or thirties? Not yet. I'm holding on for dear life. I'm 27. <laughs> okay. Very cool. That's great. Holding on so hard. <laughs> when did you visit my school? You were was that a year ago? Two years ago. Two years ago. now. my God. Yeah. So anyway. I was I was in your neighborhood like a few days ago. Sorry. What? When did you come? Well, two days ago. Well, I, I, was, I was on vacation. It was okay, G. It was G. So I was I was very busy. My kid's been sick, ear infection all day. Oh. No, it's boring. It's boring. No, but, I mean technically uh, I was in Kyoto, so but I like I went. You know when the Shinkans was like Nagoya, it's like sorry, Victor. Oh that no, I saw I saw that and I, I wrote a comment on your video like when you're gonna be in my neighborhood. Actually, whenever I'm on the bullet train and it says Nagoya, I say keep going, keep I don't, going. I'm like please. There's nothing. There's nothing in Nagoya except me. No, lost count and maybe. It's like, going through, it's like going past Cleveland in America. You know, when you see the sign, you just kind of accelerate. But um, let's go back. Uh, you have to help me, um, Loretta, because I don't remember how we first met each other on, mm. on the internet. Do you remember what it was? Uh, Did I reach out to you because you were because of the black video? Or was it before that? It must have been before that, but I don't remember. I oh, <laughs> I was gonna say I thought we met in person first, but now we did the video before that because we talked about the video in person. Then we met in New York City the first time. I think it was just like such a small community, like everyone knew everyone. And then I saw that you were doing, I knew that you were doing the video with Ryan and Gaijin, and I'm like that person who just cannot be like... You asked me, actually. You said, no, Can exactly. I, do... I was like, oh, hell no. I asked Ryan and Gaijin to do a video about what, is it, what it's like to be black in Japan, because get, always, I'm always getting that question. You too, Hiko. People always ask me what it's like to be black in Japan, right? I was like... I had it. I wouldn't say I get it all the time. For some reason, they don't ask me. I don't know why. <laughs> I, get it I, I think there's some slight discriminatory kind of uh, thing in there. That, that, you know, they just presume because I'm but New actually, Zealand. I get that question a lot. I get a lot of questions. Like, what's it like to be Korean in Japan? Too? I'm like, I don't know. I, I but I that. asked Simon Gaijin, and then yeah. she, I did it publicly, and then she somehow knew, and she asked, can I jump in? And I said, yeah, go ahead, because he was taking his time. And yeah, that's specifically and how it, was it happened. Great, it was like, I want that view count. <laughs> it's so bad. No, that's great. And I think you still get views off that video. You, get still, well, you still, still get views off that video. I check in now and then and go, look at all these views. Just go into Victor. <laughs> but you're getting the subs. You're getting the subs. I know, I know. <laughs> hey, by the way, right now, everybody on this, on this uh, watching, you better go and sub right now to Kemushi-chan. I'm going to write it in the, no. it's in the description, right? Actually, there's a card. There's a, there's a card on the video. You click on the eye little circle on the video, and you can oh, actually nice. there's a link to the channel there. It's, plus, there's one below the video as well. Oh so. gosh! Wait, we must stop her right now. She is honestly one of the best video makers and one of the nicest people I've ever met. Oh look yes. at this! Oh, guys, I'm sorry to all the forty year olds. <laughs> I'm just reading the comments. <laughs> there's a lot of. It's like our core. <laughs> It's okay, I I'll be here you, soon, and I'll be kicking myself in the pants. Well, listen, I, when I you're 40, you're going to be you're gonna be like, I still look good for 40. I still look good. That's how I feel. I still look good for 40. Bring the drama. 
That's what we do. We we just in we are a drama machine on this I'm show. Sorry, I told guys. you, no one's even going to remember Victor's video from earlier tonight after the show. It's just going to be. They're just like what a bitch. <laughs> keep up. <laughs> bring it up. I have some. I have some important questions though. Hiko. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm yeah. warning. I'm Tom. I got to warn Hiko because he's going to interrupt, interrupt me. Interrupt me. And these, I think, these are important questions that the people want to know. Okay. Not the feet. He's going to no, discuss. Gonna first. He's going to think they're they're light or silly questions, but I think they're important. Okay. Not feet. I'm not. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. Okay. The okay. first one. You are a black woman. Yes. Okay. So, recently I saw a video. Great answer. <laughs> I'll time out. That's not the question. Recently on YouTube, there was a video, a very interesting video, by a bunch of Japanese women who are lesbians who talked about coming out and being lesbians in, in Japan, and I thought uh -huh. it was very cool. It's a very cool video. Did you see that video? Anybody uh -huh. see it? It was a very no, cool video. Yeah. I've never seen one like that. It's like, hey, I'm a lesbian, but, but at the end of the video, they were like, I'm a lesbian and then I'm a baker. I'm a lesbian and I'm a mother. And I was like, they describe themselves as a lesbian first, and then their other thing. So that was their primary w way to define themselves. So then I started thinking how I define myself, because I'm Hispanic, but I don't define myself as Hispanic at all. And I'm heterosexual, but I don't think of myself. That's not my first go-to yeah. definition. Hey, Victor, I like women. That's not my, that's not my thing. I mean, I'm Victor. Yeah. That, that wouldn't be the first thing. So my question for you is, how much of your race and sex and sexuality are a part of your, the way you see yourself and define yourself? And that's a goddamn good question. The, the answer today is so much different from the answer like a year or two or three ago. Like, I think by the time I'm 30, I'll have it down pat. But like, I haven't been proud of myself as like a black woman until very recently. Hmm. Because I didn't even know what it meant to be like a black woman until recently. So, so what does it mean? For, I mean, what it means. It mean? yeah. it, it, what does it mean? <laughs> So obviously it means something different for every every single person. Who's buzzing up my phone? But anyways, it obviously means like something different for every different person who identifies that way. But like for me, my personal experience was like very um, subdued. Mm -hmm. I was like, it, it kind of goes into that whole like, do you do like the gaijin nod or like the black guy nod when you see another black person? Like, I feel like I was raised outside of a community that expects me to be part of it. And I literally like, I was the one black girl in my neighborhood. Like I was the one black girl like, up uh, until I think like middle school or high school. Chris Rock was like that. I remember hearing him talking about that and being like the only black guy in school growing up, and he, he was very small. Was. Yeah. So it it makes for a weird sense of identity when you suddenly are like it's like Yaku Yunyu yeah. into blacktitude. <laughs> black um, <laughs> um, but now, like recently, and I, I kind of struggled with that when I was younger. Oh, the reverse importation of blackness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, but like, Remember, so, not everyone understands Japanese. So yeah. Uh, okay, okay. Just translate yeah. whatever you say, just in case. I will. I will try my best. Um, so it was kind of like recently in the last few years, I would do like speaking engagements, or when I would become more of like a public person here or over there in the states, um, people would say like, "Oh, thank you for coming to our event." You know, especially during Black History Month. I was like, "I'm a figure of black." But <laughs> so like things, things like that, or like I've slowly come to terms with my identity that way. But I think. I'm more proud to be a woman. Hmm. Like I would say, like I'm a woman and I kick ass, but I'm mm -hmm. also a black woman and I kick ass, and I'm also mm -hmm. a blah 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 blah. Oh. <laughs> so first you're a, first you're a woman, then you're black. What about your heterosexuality? <laughs> oh, like, I feel like or, or, or not or lack of or whatever whatever. So your gender, as is that your your gen, your preference is that is that part of your? Uh, because that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a lesbian video. Like we're yeah. we're lesbian. Why are we talking about lesbian videos? No, oh, yeah. no, no. no it's, it's a really it's good identity. video. identity. We're talking about identity. We're talking about identity. I was, I was surprised that lesbians oh. in the video were uh, defining themselves as a lesbian first, and then a mother, and then a cook, and then uh, whatever else they were. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, it's like, it's like, what do you want to lead with? What, what kind right, of impact exactly. are you trying to make? Yeah. And I feel like for me, like if you're heterosexual, it's like you're kind of an afterthought. So I don't, I don't even know if that makes it into the elevator pitch. If, if I can offer a theory on this, uh, <laughs> although I, I, I'm scared of where this will end up going. It's gone. Um, it's gone. <laughs> it's the, the, train, the train has already left. The elephant has already left the barn. Um, the, I have a... We tend to define ourselves, I think, a little bit by the things that make us stand out. So the things, the more normal, the more, is it normal, the more majority-oriented aspects of ourselves. In New Zealand, you know... Um, it was funny. I lived in a lot of towns where I was minority white, 
you know, and I would get called the Pākehā kid in the class. I was like, I was the Pākehā a lot of the time. I was, you know, and I stood out like that. My, I formed an identity like that. But through high school, university, there was more white people than other than anything else. So you you don't you're not very self aware of being Caucasian. You come to Japan, of course, you're very self aware of being. But you know what is funny in Japan. I don't feel white. I just feel foreign, uh, and yeah. I maybe may, I appreciate that other foreigners might see themselves by their ethnicity or their nationality before they see themselves as foreign. But I'd like to think most foreigners who are settled and well adjusted in Japan, and we all fall into the thing of how the society defines us as a minority, which is first of all as being you know a, a Westerner, a foreigner, someone from a Western culture. Yeah. I don't know. I I can kind of understand. So when you talk about the heterosexual thing, if you're living like in a super, you know, gay commune where everybody's getting like the only heterosexual in the village, then you probably define you start to see yourself that way. More. Yeah. No. That, but, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. Um, so I don't know. But I, I don't know. Like, I've worked in a world of men, so that's kind of why I'm, I'm always like, I'm a woman. Like, I've always been like the one woman yeah. as well. Uh, <laughs> so, I gotta kick what? I just thought of something else. I'm the only New Zealander. I mean, I hardly run into any other New Zealanders, and the ones that I do, I know or I'm related to or we've got common friends. Um, There's some great ones. There's a, what is it, Internationally Me. She's great. She's wonderful. She's wonderful. I, am, I don't think, know her. I've seen her on Twitter, but I don't know who that is. <laughs> She is, she's awesome, and yeah, you should go check out her channel. Actually, everyone should. She's got internationally, International Me. Um, I hate when channels are so, like, unseen, like, but it's gold. Like, why is no one seeing this person? <laughs> but the thing is, it's funny. Well, I feel like me about your channel. I think your channel should be huge. It's because I'm irrelevant until, like, a month ago. People don't care because you're not in Japan, but now they care because you're in Japan. Yeah, they're like, oh, hey. But your videos are such good quality. <laughs> they're though. really, they're so well I edited. That's what I want to ask. Oh, how, how did you... Know. Somewhere along the line, you did like a real jump, like with the 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 editing and the 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 finishing. How, how, what what happened? And, uh, and where can I buy it? <laughs> so I've been using the same program forever. I used to do like wedding videos and things like that. Um, mm. I've always used like Sony Vegas Pro. So sorry, Apple users. But yeah. um, it was that a long time ago when I lost hard. Even the you, videos you're now, like you're using. Oh so well, it's Vegas. Yep, still in Vegas. Um, but okay. the, the other thing that I do that everyone doesn't see... buy it right now. Is, uh, during this show, he will order it online. <laughs> so so the, the caveat to that is that a lot of my the stuff that people say, wow, that was so well edited, or wow, that was so cool, are usually images that I made in Photoshop and that I manipulated in oh. Vegas. Right. Wow. So I make, like, if I make, like, a scene that looks like a video game, I'll make all of the moving pieces separately and then just, like, glue them together in the video editor. It takes oh. a lot of time, though, doesn't that... Well, for someone who's like not, I, I can't just throw up a camera and be like, hey, my background's Japan, isn't that cool? The, I had to make it interesting, so like I obsessed over the editing more than yeah. the actual like content. Well, but no, that's where the result comes out. Your videos look like you've spent a lot of time editing. Yeah, they're, they're really good. I spent the entire day today, like I, I woke up at 6, started editing, and I just uploaded it at 10 p.m. I was like, <laughs> we made it. Um, this is my really problem. If there's some way that I could replicate that whole process in 15 minutes, I would, yeah. boom, I'd be there. I don't have the time. <laughs> ain't, ain't nobody got time for that. But it's okay. It's Golden Week. Well, come back. Not really. That's what people should be for subscribing for. I mean, your content is great. Your Japanese is among the best spoken Japanese on YouTube, which made me yes. completely shocked to learn that you've been outside of Japan. And, yeah, your videos it's are fresh. great. We got to keep trying, right? Yeah, Probably yeah. So. Look at all these comments coming in. <laughs> Hi, guys. Do we take some of the questions? Yeah. Yeah, well, our questions or comment questions oh, or what are we doing? Well, um, just before we, we go there, it's time for that time of the week where we show no, some feet. No, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't. I, like, I, don't. I, like, this, I like this one. Either. I don't like it. Every week it. someone sends us a body part. And this week, Charla. <laughs> Charla sent us a body part. And this is the best. Okay. <laughs> but those are pullers, and, and those are okay. Those are okay. Seriously, these are Charlotte's cat's feet, and she yeah. she completely approves. Of yeah, he, feet every week. What Wikipedia did last week was not cool, and you showed it, which which I, I'm still I'm still in counseling. Oh, really, Wikipedia? <laughs> you know that. Yeah, Wikipedia, uh, not cool. I don't know how to stop uh, showing this. How do I stop see, it? this was kind of a funny joke when it started, but now I'm actually scared. My my, I, I actually, I can't. That's it. That's it. That's all. Oh, 
we got this one. Phew, we made it. When, when you tweeted that, I was like, what are we doing with feet? I have another one, but I don't. <laughs> I just don't. Want to see. <laughs> I don't want to see. Someone, someone like, started commenting. Like, they're like, can you show me your feet? I was like, oh, God, here we go. <laughs> and it begins. <laughs> Oh. I said other body parts, other body parts. Someone that wanted is, a picture of the top of your head, Hiko. Did it's not even fun. I'm just scared. Lean in, scared lean in, and, lean in, lean in. <laughs> and then I'm relieved and tired. That's all that happens with the with the feet thing. I'm starting to worry, by the way, Loretta. I'm like, am I, I going to find a ball spot up here? Yeah. That's because my Victor, dad's got Victor. that one up there. We're Victor. all we're all going to find one. Do me a favor, Victor. Oh. Sh- shut up. Yeah. <laughs> shut You're up. Hey, no, no, we're not doing that. It's okay. okay. Um, do you, how many questions do you have for her today, Nico? I got ten. I got the same as last time, but I figure I'm just gonna see if I can re- re- recycle them. Can, can you I do? Was, the, oh, really? I was gonna do. Okay. I, I've got nine. I've got nine. Yeah. You never. You always said ten, and you were like too short last time. Well, last time I, I doubled. I I had I, I misnumbered. I'm I have trouble with numbers. One through ten. That's a lot of numbers for me. Counting is pretty difficult. Um, okay. So if we're gonna do these, are we gonna alternate like last time? Yeah, well, I should go first because I've got more than you. Um, okay. And two. And he already uh, started with one. Yeah. Yes. And, and I, that was a heavy question. These are real quick questions, Loretta. You got to be quick with these. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. These are going to be rapid fire. And Victor, you're not going to challenge your answers to my questions. The whole oh, idea of rapid fire is that we do not oh, challenge the answers. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. This is a Let's psychological test. This that. question makes no sense, but we're going to start, and we're not going to look back. Okay, we're just going to go forward. Here it goes: boxes or briefs. Oh my god, it's the same question I have. Damn it. Boxer briefs. Ah, oh, clever. I like that. Go ahead. No, no, literally. The, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thoughts on Trump? Ew. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if you could live in any part of Japan other than where you are now or Tokyo, where would it be? Kyoto. Uh, toilet paper folded or crumpled? Oh, I don't when you wipe. That. What does that mean? I don't understand <laughs> the question. Crumple or fold your paper when you wipe? Do you fold your paper or do you crumple it? Oh, crumple. Ain't nobody got time for anything else. <laughs> wow, oh, people crumple. Uh, what's the best pizza chain in Japan? Have you had pizza in Japan yet? Uh, 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 this isn't, or I think this is a chain. It's called, um, shit. I mean, uh, no, I that's mean, like, not a good name for a pizza chain. Seriously. No, no, no. What was, it was called, be... it's, it's in Shibuya, and it's called, like, the pizza, it's like New York pizza joint or something. Right. I'll check and it it's, out. it's like New York slice, and oh, it was so good. It was like real New York pizza. Like I really? swear, I was like, I could have ordered like a bagel and box when I was there. I was gonna get That's that one from you later. later. The September YouTube party will be there. Rapid I'll, fire. I had to get the video up. Okay, what kind of underwear do you find sexy on men? Boxer briefs. <laughs> That's yeah. Well, and and assless chaps. <laughs> And assless chaps. I never understood how those things even work, actually. But okay. You're like handbags, uh, I guess, or bongs. Go ahead. If you could uh, be in any movie remake, what would the movie be, and who would you play? Shit. Uh, f- uh, movie, movie remake, movie. Who would I be? Uh, oh, what? There are so many. I'm like, is it sad that the first thing I'm like, where? The first I'm like, movie, and you'd be a character in it. What, what, what would that be? Ah. Uh, uh, I'm like looking at my um, the waitress. The waitress. And but there's no would, one good in that movie. I would. I, I'm not sure about the movie, but I'm guessing that there's a waitress in it. It's a really good movie, and now it's a Broadway thing. So get with it. <laughs> Jazz fingers. Oh no, 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 no! Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I would be in The King and I, so I could dance with Ken Watanabe. There, you there we go. There we go. Oh, cool. Okay. <laughs> Were you spanked as a child and did it damage you? Yes and no. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> that was like, hello. Victor's questions all put me slightly on edge. Uh, natto or umeboshi? Oh, damn. That's similar to one of mine. Too. Dude, I asked all of these last week. What are you stealing them this week? <laughs> so I don't know if I've ever really had either. I've, I think I've had umeboshi. If you have to, if I was off... You've never yeah. had natto? I, well, I've, I've been avoiding it like the plague. Oh, my matter. God. That's a live show right there. That's next week's live show. That's it. Natto live. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Next, next I'm week. Not now. Which one do you take? You, you I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with... I'd probably prefer natto. Okay. Go. Next. Favorite kanji. Do you have one? Yes. Ito. 
No, 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 no. Oh. Yeah. Right. And anything anything with ethyl in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of good kanji with that. That's a good one. Sp specifically the sh uh, specifically the hen and hen shoe. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you could bring back Prince or David Bowie, who would you bring back and why? Ooh. Prince, because I knew his music better. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> Sorry, Bowie people. <laughs> Victor, rapid fire. Can I go with Snape instead? A favorite a movie genre. Favorite movie genre? Uh, comedy? Com <laughs> I, I like comedies. Comedy. Who doesn't like comedies, seriously? Okay. If anyone said Twilight, I would kick them off the show. Uh, what would what has been the hardest thing to leave? What would be the hardest thing to leave behind if you left Japan? If I left Japan? Yeah. <sighs> Money. What about your dog? What about I your would, dog? My dog's not here yet. My dog's not here yet. She's on her way. Oh. Why would you leave the money behind in Japan? Like, all of my revenue for the last, like, 14 years has been Japan-based. And, like, to completely cut ties with Japan would be to, like, cut ties with my, like, means of life. Wow. Okay. We're good? Okay. Victor? Do you sing in the shower? Yes. And dance. And twerk. I do, like, everything. Oh, my God! <laughs> That's it. I gotta leave the show. I'm a married man. You can't do this to me. I'm a married man. That's not fair. I have to work out somewhere, and you know, you don't she want to get too sweaty. in the sweaty. shower, Hiko. That's not fair. I twerk You're... in the shower, but nobody gives me any credit. <laughs> you have to work your core. Victor, work your core. Yeah, it's the stomach muscles that are the most important. I'm going to need a few minutes. Go ahead. Uh, if you could be any YouTuber other than Victor or I, uh, who, would, who would that be? Ooh. The child of Victor. I'm like, who is the best contract? Uh, I don't know, Niga Higa, maybe? Yeah. Okay. What's he doing now? Like, hilarious videos. He cracks me up. Yeah, he's still making, he's still putting out? Oh, like, oh, he puts out, like, all the time, and it's hilarious. Yeah, that's what I hear. <laughs> <laughs> do you snore, and how do you know? Uh, yes, because a certain someone likes to remind me and wake me up every time. <laughs> Your dog, we'll see. Yes, the, the dog. <laughs> uh, what's the best movie that you've seen in the last 12 months? 12 months, 12 months, 12 months, 12 months. So, have I even seen... Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, have you guys read The Infinite Jest? No. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, so, the author, David Foster Wallace, it's like a movie about his journey as a writer, but it's not, that makes it sound so boring. Like, it's the most, like, moving shit about how to be, like, a artist and an intellectual and like a passionate person and it's so touching. Oh god, that was such a good movie. Sounds like the movie? Yeah, uh, let me look it up. The Infinite Jest by David Foster Wallace. The That's the book. David Foster Wallace movie and it has who's that guy with the the sensor wrong with the Jufro? Um and he's playing Jufro. like he's playing Lex Luthor in the movie yeah, with Ben Affleck. Gene Hackman. <sighs> The end of the tour is the name of the movie. I'm asking. Yeah, the the end of the tour, and it's with like Jesse Eisenberg, Jason Segel. Jason Segel was amazing in that. I was like, what? You can act? This is ridiculous. Oh yeah, I don't like Jason Segel, but he's good in there. I hate him. Yeah, Ron Livingston. I like I like I like Ron Livingston, of course, from the office. This was, this was like quality movie, like the first quality in ten years. Okay, mm -hmm. very good. I'll move to a new movie. Yeah, okay. For everyone done. watching, that is called the end of the tour. Okay, oh, my next cool. question. Is oh, the big, wait, 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 oh, the big short was good too. Who who said that? Darren Schnee. The big short was amazing. I also agree with that. Ninety-one percent on Rotten Tomatoes, by the way, into the tour. So looks solid. Your favorite body part? Body part. <laughs> your, your favorite body part is what? Your favorite body part. Where did the stream go? There you are. Um, of my body or of other bodies? Your, your body. My favorite body part is my eyes. That's good. Good answer. Yeah. Um, what's the meaning of life for you? Uh, oh my God, that's a heavy. You can't, you can't answer. We that. asked it last week, and we got a quick answer. I want a quick answer again this week. What was the quick answer? answer? First thing, what's the what for you is what's life about? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Shit. Um, what is life about? For now, about taking back lost time. Awesome. Good answer. 
See, that's a good answer, taking back lost time. I'm curious to hear what that lost time is about. No, you're not. <laughs> was this going, is this your studying time? or you, Like, just what's... everything. Yeah. <laughs> so how, how do you plan to take it back? Um, seeing as how I was derailed for, like, all of my life, I'm finally re-railed, and I'm just, like, chugging forward. So when you say you were derailed all your life, can, could you elaborate a little bit? Like... Professionally, I was always like one step to the left of what I was trying to do in terms of like work or like in terms of like like location. I was always one step to the right of where I wanted to be in terms of like who I was hanging out with, the people I associate with. I've always been like just like five degrees away from where I really wanted to be, and now I'm like, okay, let's fast track and get this shit done. Well, I I I I, I, I think I kind of get it. So now you're really doing, so now you feel like right now you're doing or you're working towards doing what you've always really wanted to do, is what you said. Yeah, I'm like, I'm in my kill zone. Like, I'm ready to, like, motivate. I'm to move slightly to the right. <laughs> so, uh, you, you, you go straight ahead of the camera when you say, I think, kill zone. It makes me very comfortable. I have one last, uh, one last question. Oh. Did I go over? No, I didn't go over. Because, yeah, no, I didn't go over. Okay. Um, what kind of jokes offend you, if any? Uh, be careful, uh, whatever you answer, Vicky will do. Offend you. Any kinds of jokes or anything in the joke that would offend you? I mean, like, uh, it's hard to explain. Stupid racial jokes? Like, ones that aren't clever? Like, I, I, like I enjoy, like, Chris Rock racial jokes. Uh -huh. Like, good, clever content. Ah, stupid like, racial jokes, okay. But there's no such thing as, like, good racial joke, but, like... <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> but, like, That's so, true. Some, something that doesn't provoke you to actually think and is just for the sake of saying shit because you have nothing better to say. Okay, Japanese girl made this joke. A Amer Japanese girl came, came to Los Angeles and she said... Um, okay, this is, her, this is her... She said... Dude, this is set up so badly. That it's, not, it's not about the size. It's about the taste. Japanese men taste like um, sour pork. He said, "Black men taste like coconut oil." <laughs> she said, "I love it. Black black people are cool. If your car stinks, all you need to do is have one black friend, and your car smells better." That's what she said, and everybody loved it. And it wasn't really that offensive. I mean, what do you think of that one? Uh... In fact, she said, "Black people smell like coconuts, and that they smell good, and my car smells better after there's a black person in." Especially what she said. I I'd probably find myself laughing and then like wondering what the fuck afterwards. <laughs> <sighs> I don't I don't even yeah, know what to do. Is this a real human? No, his name is Aiko something or other, and she does comedy on YouTube. I'm gonna go um, talk to her. Stand up comedy. What's stand up stand Japanese. Com Wait, what is this? What is this? What are all these people saying? Aiko Tanaka. Get me a sandwich. Okay, anyways, sorry. Her name is Aiko oh, Tanaka. Yeah. That was a couple of videos. Got a couple of oh, videos. Too. Wait, is that Kelly? Hi, Kelly. <laughs> yeah, Hi, Strawberry yeah. Mochi, there we go. Kelly from Strawberry Mochi? Yeah, she just said hello. Yeah, I told you we were doing a show together, and she was, like, really excited. Oh, how sweet. She loves her, yeah. Oh, she said, I love you, Kelly. Yeah, aw. Oh, Tia. By the way, Tia, did you know Tia yet? Tia Haywood? Hey, um, hey, Haygood? <laughs> Hey, good. Yeah. She's... No, she's very cool, and she thinks that I'm trying to trick you into showing your feet. I'm not. Hold on, no, just kidding. Gosh, but I need to, I need to like learn the she's people. A great, she's a great photographer. Hi, Tia. Really I can see your name the, there. Uh, yeah, I mean. We'll see Blackman for friends. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, okay. I think you said her name wrong or something. Who? She's like correcting you. Tia is correcting you right now. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, good. That, what's? Did I say it wrong? I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, no. When I first met her, I thought her name was Haywood. <coughs> and then I remember the joke, Hey, would you blow me? <sighs> is it, is it, is it, you know, the, yeah, you know, they I'm call sorry. it the radio station? I'm sorry. Is it my yeah. name is Haywood? On behalf of you, I'm going to have to say I'm sorry. <laughs> you know that old joke, right? So when I first met her, I thought... You're funny. still in this joke. He keeps going back. We're trying to pull away, and he keeps going back. <laughs> Kiko, do something. So, I, uh, Stop thinking. Do something. Yes. Ellen, Ellen JP, oh, there's a foot fetish. No, I don't want to talk about foot fetish. I don't, I don't actually have a foot fetish, but I know a bunch of people. I'm kidding with it. I like doing it. 
YouTube oh, is supposed to be a safe space. What happened? <laughs> um, Loretta, Loretta, will you come to our party in September? Where, where, oh. In Tokyo, it's going to be in Tokyo. First you weekend. Keep of having, you guys keep having parties like the, okay. Uh, maybe. I may and be why weren't you at the Hanami? I, w I landed the day after. I literally landed the day after. I was like, guys. <laughs> um, I may be back in New York in September, but do you guys what? have like, <laughs> I got to go get the dog. Oh, right. Well, that's a good idea. That's a good excuse we, have, right. we should have a just a Loretta party. We should have like a dog party. Matt Loretta party. Oh, I can't. I, you know, that's very insensitive to you. Oh, why would you do that to me? <laughs> it's been two years. It's been two years. That never makes it easier. That reminds no, me. Did you ever easy. drink my whiskey? It makes it easier. What? Did you ever drink my whiskey? Yes, it was great. I drank it. I, it's the bottle. Threw away the bottle though. It's a great little bottle. I'm not. I'm not a cool bottle. It's not that good, actually. <laughs> no, it was good. I was like, I should have just gotten you some, like, Blanton's or something. Anyways, la di da. No, nah, this is usually, this is, this is the only thing I can afford that's really good. Wait, what's this about Christina? Kelly says, oh gosh, I need to, like, keep my eyes on this thing. Yeah, it's hard to keep up with the comments. I'm actually, one of the ideas we've had is I'd love to have someone to help, like, keep track of the questions directed at us. Oh, we should have gotten someone today. Today's a... Yeah, because otherwise, you know, we lose the whole conversation when we all look at the comments. But then, what do you drink? And what, if so, what do you drink? Uh, whiskey, whiskey, whiskey. I'm a New York girl. I'm like. I'm impressed. I don't remember that about you. you t I'm sure you told me that. Cool. Well, I'll have, I'll have a shot with you. <laughs> I'm like, don't mind me. <laughs> I got the job. You, what are you drinking out of that? That's a cheap ass glass. Get yourself a proper glass. Hey, hey, hey! I'm I'm in the middle of like changing my life right now. I don't I don't have time. All I have is like that plastic glass and this thing. Someone, some some subscriber of Kimmy Shen, please send her a proper shot glass or, or glass. Please That's do. Glass. I left all my stuff in New York. <laughs> my, I get so many shot glasses from subscribers. This is from That's a subscriber so from cute. Finland. Oh. Is that from Finland? Did you just say? I'm sorry, Norway. <laughs> <That's a phenomenal. laughs> you, just, you just flashed a huge thing with the Norway. <laughs> you said it was it's from Finland. Finland. How hard you don't mind the Norway sign. How hard can that be? I mean, I know they're not in America, but yeah. Wait, what is, what is this? Who is this? Who, who is this wannabe Greek? I will address you. Who? This person. Why are all the weeaboos fond of drinking? I come from New York. Where people drink a good Hudson whiskey, so it's not fond what's, of drinking. What's that guy's name? Rokas Machiavis. How you seen these comments? I don't see any of these comments. I'm reading them. Yeah, I can see them. Do you see them? Oh, speak to me. Oh, speak to me. I call what you out all, from the Rokas, comments. Why can't you say what does weeaboos mean to mean to you? Uh, would you say you're weeaboo? What is a weeaboo to As you? Last, what does it mean? Last I checked, they're supposed to be white. Weeaboos are white people. <laughs> Well, you know what? That's actually oh, technically I, true. I think weeaboos can be black. Correct. Technically, no, no, no. yeah. Because uh, that was originally a 4chan, uh, it was, there was a moderation thing which changed the word, uh, was it egg, into uh, weeaboo. And so, yes, the egg is literally a white person who thinks that they're Japanese. Um, racist term. So, yeah, yeah. It's a, it comes from egg. Loretta, you're not what? white. Hey, I've always known that. Get with the program, Victor. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of funny. I mean, I've, I've completely forgotten that it's a... Oh, it's a you got so, the only one here who's a weeaboo. Well, <laughs> yes, actually, technically. I'm and, and actually, pretty uh, my, 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 my friends from Japanese class in New Zealand called me an egg, you know. like, <laughs> And I wasn't bothered by it, but some of my friends were bothered by the egg thing, and that became weeaboo somewhere along the line, and then I just thought that was just weird. But, you know, yeah, yeah. It's getting right. weird in here. Oh, Christina, you're not, you're, I see you. And you're not very weeabooish, he called well, you know, again, there's a person in the club that's us talking about weeaboos. The only people I know who talk about weeaboos are weeaboos, right? So, seriously. Mm, true. Hey, we have a very important segment of the show in which we ask you to tell us about your most uh, an, an interesting story of something that has happened to you here in Japan. Can uh, you... Un, my uninteresting story? No, a, a, an uninteresting story. Okay. An interesting story. An interesting story. An interesting story. And it interesting. Could be an uninteresting story. Uh, Excuse my. Depends on how you want it. Whiskey pronunciation. 
an interesting situation in Japan. What's happened to you since you've arrived or before, maybe in the old days, whatever? When you first uh, I'm like, I don't even <laughs> like. What What are good examples? Um. Like, what, what, will, what will reflect well on me? Nothing. Let me see. <laughs> Something like, actually, actually, this, actually, this is okay, how about this? this could only happen to me in Japan kind of feeling. Like, oh, my God. Mm. It reflects on you the bit of the story. Ah. So try to think of the worst reflection on you story that you've had in Japan and we'll have good material. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Oh, my God. Wait, okay. So I found the story. I didn't think it, ref it, you know, it reflects on everyone's bare ass. This is there like a bare ass story. So, I love so. bare ass stories. <laughs> So I was, I what was it, in 2009, I did this research project in Japan with, like, a bunch of my friends and our sensei, who was a woman who, like, came with us. So it was, like, she and I were the only two females, and then the rest of them were guys. So we were doing, like, whatever research, blah, blah, blah. So every time we had to pair off into, like, girls, like, bathrooms or girls' own sign, it was always just the two of us. So there was this one time we were in Gifu. And it was like, oh, we'll go ahead and like bathe in the mineral waters of the purest rivers of the earth. And we're like, okay, sure. And we're like getting ready to like, you know, get naked. And my teacher's like, anthropologically speaking, you shouldn't be worried about your naked body because it's all the same. And I was like, okay, sure. And then I didn't realize it, but this this ryokan was so high tech that we had to stand in an elevator to go from like the bathing room up to the actual onsen. Naked elevator. So there was this naked like elevator five, ride. There was this like five minute elevator naked elevator ride with my me and my teacher sitting here with that like three by three cloth over our like choose your bits. We're like standing there right. like, are you kidding me with this? And she's like, anthropologically speaking, this is quite fascinating. I was like, I'm so embarrassed here. You talk about the worst time <laughs> in the world for an earthquake. It's like, are, no, imagine really? If you, imagine if you were stuck in that elevator and they have to come and, and rescue you. I would, I would just like hide behind her and be like, take her first and then take her picture. Um, but yeah, so then we finally like went up and it was like this beautiful, like on top of the mountain onset and you can see a castle on top of like the neighboring mountain. And we like, you know, like glide into the warm waters and out of nowhere these like two like bachans roll up under the water and they're like, oh, sate i no kana and start like touching and everything. I'm like, where is this night going? Like, that was my first onsen, I think. And it was like the weirdest. When was this? When was this? 2009. Okay. Like seven years ago. It was a naked elevator. It, you have to experience it for yourself. <laughs> no. <laughs> With someone you don't really know yet. <laughs> mm. Like, elevators are already awkward. Add naked. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> that's a funny one. That's, that's a good story. I, I, I what do you think? He goes to hate the story monger. He loves the stories. He goes, yeah. No, no, no. That's, I've never been naked in an elevator before. It's so and weird. I was like, technology meets my cool flesh. This isn't cool anymore. <laughs> What's yeah. the Aerosmith song called? Six on an elevator, love on an elevator? Something. Something like that. It's a documentary, whatever it is, but yeah. Um, so, so, but obviously the elevator. No, I'm, this is this is public because they have to have security cameras in them. Though that they. Oh. Were, they <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. That's okay. No, that's okay. I'm okay with that. Oh. You're okay yeah. with the security guys? Because they're not going to come up and be like, her, her. It's more like I can't endure the conversation that's three inches away from me. Like that person there you is looking at my body. Guy in a room watching you naked in an elevator, but you're... that happens every damn day. Like you'd be surprised what people see. By the way, the thing that you had with <laughs> the Obachans coming up to you, um, in my experience early on, know. going in, like kids, kids want to check out your your junk. They like uh, came out of nowhere. They, they like came up up like hippos in the water, like out of nowhere. <laughs> Well, hippos are the most dangerous you? <laughs> what was that? Sorry. <laughs> Does it still happen? I go to onsen, I mean, Asento about once a week now. And I'll stay there for an hour, about an hour and a half, and nobody bothers me. <laughs> but when I first came, they did. They, they would check me out. They, 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 they check it out, check out my junk. Yeah. It's a full body tattoo, so I'm guessing it keeps Wait, them all safe. Wait, what is this naked distance. bus in New Zealand? Hiko, can you speak to that? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I would never sit on a naked bus in New Zealand because pretty, pretty, in a pretty short period of time you would run into someone that like you went to school with or something. <laughs> it just wouldn't work. Uh, I guess it might happen. Um, by the way, we have some hippo fans, so I'm glad to see that. Yay! <laughs> 
Oh, look, this is technically a manatee. What that I is weird. Call. This is a manatee. You can see it's manatee. I like it. It's nice. Anyway. Do people try to touch your hair? Tia hey, hey good is saying people try to touch her hair. So, yeah, I mean, yesterday... Straight here, though. Was it yesterday? Mm. Well, you'd be surprised what's not straight, like, up in here right now. But anyway, yeah. so, like, even yesterday I was in... I was in uh, Kyoto doing, like, this <laughs> festival thing, and some girl literally, like, her hand just, like, found its way in my roots. Like, her hand was there suddenly. And I was like, oh, hey, what's your name? Oh, Nana. But anyways... How old was she? Um, young. I want to say maybe college age. What? That's so weird. Anyways, it, well, she was just very, like, she also had come up earlier and, like, tied my, like, ribbon for me earlier without even, like, introducing herself. I was like, you're okay. You're really in there. But yeah, anyways, yeah. so she, like, stuck her hand, like, in my roots, and she's like, Kore homono desu ka? Even no kamiyake desu ka? Like, is this your real hair? Wow. <laughs> I, know, I know, and I was like, hmm. And she's like, And of course, I didn't think she was asking, like, where did I actually come from? I thought she was asking, where did my hair come from? So it was like, <laughs> And she's like, it was a very weird conversation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's weird. So yeah. I wanted, I had to stop uh, Hika from uh, accusing you of uh, cultural appropriation for oh, gosh. having straight hair. I have curly hair. <laughs> uh, your hair straight. Your, that's cultural appropriation, it's and like I'm deep underground. I mean, I'm, I'm offended. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, did you see that video? What did you think? Wait, hmm? Did you see the cultural appropriation video? The girl, Which one? the one about the the woman who confronts uh, the white guy with the dreadlocks. Oh no! You've got all these good videos in your arsenal. You need no, to like send it, some my no, way. No, it, 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 it went viral anything. like a month ago. You don't have to see anything. You saw it, Hiko, right? It's just a video of a stupid angry girl. Honestly, it's, it's, you have a black woman at a college who apparently who confronts a college kid who has who's white oh. with white dreadlocks, and she's like, "That you shouldn't be wearing that hair." Oh, all okay. that video is all that video is. I mean, that video is of course of a very retarded, stupid. Sorry, I get some people get offended if I say that. That's a stupid video, or that's a stupid person. But the purpose of that video uh, going viral, the reason that video is viral, is because it lets white frat boys say, oh, look at that stupid uh, black person saying that white people can't have dreadlocks and, uh. and just saying how stupid. It basically, it's kind of a rallying point for self-righteous white, you know, early early 20s guys. Mm. It's, it's, just a, it's just a bro fest. Look at the comments and it's just, uh, <laughs> that, that video is, you know, you have not missed anything in your life not seeing uh, one stupid person True. Yeah. Go with dreadlocks. But I used that video well, to focus. Case in point. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Focus on how Zing. some people accuse well the weeaboo the weeaboo thing. How some people accuse oh I guess Westerners of trying to be too Japanese and how no Japanese uh, people complain about that. And you know the Scarlett Johansson thing. She was she was picked to be in that new movie by Go uh, Ghost. In the I mean that's just Ghost Hollywood. In the shell, in the shell. That's like that's like that's just Hollywood. Yeah, but you nobody cares. Get, I mean, you don't get hired because you're appropriate. You get hired because you're already mm -hmm. famous. Yeah, and you can make the studio some money, so. Exactly. No, I did something similar. Not, I mean, it wasn't, like, for views, and it wasn't for, like, anything like that, because I was in, like, fifth grade, but I had a similar experience when I was a kid. My best friend at the time was, um, she was from Hong Kong, mm -hmm. and I remember, like, it was the first time ever I, my mom, like, braided my hair in cornrows, mm -hmm. and I went to school, and I was like, ooh, like, look at me, I got something new, something fresh. And mm -hmm. then the next day, my best friend from Hong Kong comes in with cornrows, Oh and my God! I, like, I I I think I told Christina she's in the comments right now. I think I told Christina the same story like the other day. But I like tracked her down. I was like, you need to take those out right now. You are offending. <laughs> you is terrible. I started crying, <laughs> and she was like, "What's the problem? I don't know. I like what's this wrong?" Woman, Hiko. No, she was like, "What's the problem? What's wrong?" I was like, "You know, I have very limited options with my hair right now, and this was my new hairstyle. And you have every other option that I want, but I can't do with my hair. And you took this from me. You took this one thing that I had from me, and I hate you, and we'll never be friends again." And she's like, "I'm so sorry," and started like ripping out her hair. And she's like, "I just want to be your friend again." And it was, oh my it was, god! It was really You're stupid. Such a bully. No, uh, yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Like it, it was. It's stupid when like adults do it, but I think it speaks to an inner sense of like jealousy and what you can and can't have, and like especially like. That's interesting. That's really interesting. 
Yeah. Like hair, especially with black women, is a very sensitive topic, <laughs> at, least, at least for me. <laughs> it's sensitive for me too, okay? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> he goes like, when are we going to change this? You're touching my hair. I didn't give you permission. To <laughs> I went right in. That's appropriation. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That was for you, Hiko. I actually I quite liked it. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Who are these people? Aw. These comments crack me up. Yeah. I love her voice. Well, he's he's this a troll, but he's a very funny troll, and he's mostly harmless, but he, he, he's got some good jabby comments in there sometimes. Yeah. Which one? Which one? That, Dudley Dickerson. He's pretty funny. Oh, you better Hiko be. Wants <laughs> I, I would like this in Hiko and Cornrows. I would pay for the. I would pay for the. Uh, I'm gonna like screenshot and Photoshop you right now. I, I, I have an <laughs> army of photoshopping uh, watches who who do my. I have a different hairstyle every week in my thumbnails. <laughs> that's some. That's some effort. Well, uh, is that all the questions? I hate to uh, point out the obvious, Hiko, but uh, we, we've been on for about an hour now. Uh, yeah. Getting close to the hour, work. Not, not quite, but but have we covered all our bases, Hiko? Any, you, Hiko has a new music a uh, special oh, yeah. once a month. Once a month, that's every Wednesday, the first Wednesday of the month, is it? Uh, so we're starting out first Wednesday of the month. Uh, Tokyo, so it's calling it Tokyo Digital Jam, and what it is is when I meet... <coughs> Pretty much uh, anyone, like when I meet Victor in person, or I, uh, when we turn the video off and I start talking to Loretta, um, you know, I'll ask her, "What camera are you using? And how did you do that thing in Vegas? And when you said you use Photoshop, what did you do? Show me that because I want to do that same thing." And you know, we all, we talk a lot about how we create stuff, and we we figure out what that person does that awesome thing. And it starts with music. I, I, I've got a bit of a project going called Tokyo Digital Crew. Mm. We've made between about now about seven or eight members. We've made about 260 worldly free tracks that we share and make available for people to use on YouTube videos. But lately, we've started like really upping. There are some real like people who really know this stuff in that group, and they're, we're we're like doing like collaborative uh, musical sort of remixing and making serious tracks, and it's really really cool. So we want to talk about start by you know like teaching each other and talking about not Japan but the actual creative process, starting with music. But I want to go all the way up to video editing. Uh, photography, uh, to all that sort of stuff, and actually, so all the stuff. The thing is, we're all very creative people on YouTube, but we mm. come onto YouTube with all that creativity and just talk about Japan, which is what people are here for. But when we talk to each other, we tend to talk about all the other stuff. And I've I'm, I've set up a new channel, which is a Tokyo Digital Crew channel. There's a link to it uh, in the information thing on the side of the screen. And we're going to just start out with a monthly show where we've called Tokyo Digital Jam, where we're going to get creators on, and they're going to talk about how they create, how they make stuff and share their, their, their creative secrets. But we're actually also going to create uh, tutorials. We're going to upload our music and so on that we make as a group. And it's going to be an awesome channel. There are currently eight subscribers. And I, all... I should be nine. <coughs> What's the name? What's the name again? I just, I just subscribed. It's called Tokyo Digital Crew, but the easiest way to find it is if you click on that I, just below where we've got Kimishi channel in the top. If you scroll down, there's Tokyo Digital Crew channel. nine. You're welcome. Oh, so you're, just that, you're, you're my 12%. You're, 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 it's like you've <laughs> boosted I the prefer, show. I prefer the 1, but I'll go for the 12. <laughs> uh, Rockus, you, you, you might be... Well, I'm building up to it. I'm building up to it. But I'm, I'm getting to the point that I could play a live set of music uh, from everyone in the, in, in the group, and it would be good in a club on a big sound system. So that's what I'm building up to. Oh, that's cool. But yeah, yeah, the first show, we did the first show last week. It was the first time I talked with guys like uh, Shogun Aitai, uh, uh, who's in the comments at the moment? He's a really cool guy. He's from Flint, Michigan. Uh, Hapa guy. Flint, Michigan. You got lead poisoning damage, man. You better be careful. It makes him better at music. I, I, I want okay. lead poisoning if it will help me <laughs> be like him. Uh, so yes, everyone go subscribe and check out if you, if you want to hear stuff about what I'm. Maki thinking. TV JP is a liar. She says she's a 10 <coughs> subscriber. I'm the 10 subscriber. I just want to point that out. <laughs> Maki TV number. JP is. Awesome, and she's going to be number the vocal. eleven. I'm number ten. You better check she's that out. actually going to be the vocal on the first song I've ever written the lyrics and melodies for on a track that I'm remixing. Okay, you can be number ten. I'll be number eleven. If you're doing vocals, I, wait. Oh, so Hiko, okay. are you? Is the channel debuting the music that's made, or is, or do we get to participate in your like audio conversations? All the music is on SoundCloud right now, but what we are going to you do? You did with not just say SoundCloud. 
<laughs> I said SoundCloud. It's all downloadable and, and royalty-free licensed for, for reuse. You don't like SoundCloud? And, uh, there's a lot of jokes around SoundCloud. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. It's essentially a meme in itself. How can you make how can you make jokes about SoundCloud? It's like a meme in itself. Instead of being like, hey, you want my mixtape? Now it's like, hey, you want my SoundCloud? Let me give you my SoundCloud. I, as someone who made a lot of mixtapes, I mean, I, DJ, I used to DJ, so so seriously, Fair enough. I, I used to, to say to every girl you want <laughs> mixtape, and then I would say, do you want my mix CD? And no, I have I have so many mix CDs. I'm like, <laughs> and now I have a SoundCloud and make your jokes. <laughs> Bravo, I commend you. And it is, is Creative it, uh, Commons. Is it Creative Commons? It is Creative Commons, uh, CCBY. Uh, you know I'm the Creative Commons dude. Everyone remembers. Of course, of course. Just wanted to verify and say, you know, put it on record. So uh, it's all there. So yes, if you want to hear about that stuff, um, we've got a channel dedicated to that, and we'll, we're going to invite creators, other YouTubers to come on, not to talk about Japan or their channel, but to actually talk about how they do their cool shit. Yeah. Um, so subscribe. Yeah, let's yeah. Do it. It's awesome. I'm thrilled because I'm I'm like a dinosaur of music. I used to compose a lot of my own music for my channel actually back in the day. Yeah. But I was the person who was like had a microphone up in like their piano or in the back of their flute and then would remix the loops and then loop them into something bigger. That works. Whereas everyone else is like, haven't you heard of GarageBand? If you mess up, you like move the note. And I was like, are you kidding me? I would have to re-record. I'd actually go back downstairs and re-record. But I liked like the mechanics. <laughs> Like I was like I was I feel like I'm like the steampunk of music. Like I like to yeah. see how the gears work. Yeah, well that's exactly it. I mean that's exactly it. So yeah. I've always been into DJing. I listen to a lot of music and so on. And to me, the making process has always been something that's a bit like mysterious. that's more fascinating. Well, now I'm this group Tokyo Digital Crew. There's a bunch of guys in it. Uh, Foghart, uh, Ben Duncan, who's often in the comments. These are proper professional music engineers, and right wow. now they're teaching me, uh, and I'm learning how to do stuff like master vocal, or how, how to like uh, set up tracks so that they actually sound really good, and it's like, to me, it's like learning how to do magic tricks. I wish you could, oh, I wish you could meet my dad. He's a professional sound engineer, and he's had like a studio. I grew up in my dad's studio. Like, oh, literally. Oh, wow. Yeah. Is this one? This one just got <laughs> See, full of secrets here. Yeah. So, so you need to come on, and because seriously, you, check, you can already check out, I just uploaded the full video of the first uh, conversation we did with the group on that channel so you can get a feel for what we're doing but that's exactly oh, that's these are people who are exactly like that so that's what that channel is for it's completely unrelated to this channel subscribe guys yeah that's awesome so yes that's that and subscribe to Kemushi chan she's honestly a great video maker you will enjoy her if and if you if you and if, if you subscribe and you're not happy I will refund your money personally yeah, yeah. <laughs> like and Feel free to let me know what you want to see. Like, I feel like I feel like the more I talk to people, the more they're like, "Oh, your videos are very informative and nice." It's like I don't want to be the nice girl. Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> I used to well, be I can, tell you, so I can tell you for a fact you will get more subscribers as a bad girl, but you don't. You don't like, even want to get like, it. like Victor knows. Victor's seen my New York side. It's just I have no reason to be an ass in public on a public record. Like, like you know yeah. my true, you know my true self. <laughs> I've seen you. We had fun. <laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> so, Kimisha, it, it, well, Loretta, it's been a pleasure actually getting to talk to you for the first time. And we, So I'm hoping there's going to be a chance um, in the near future, actually, that you're going to get up to Tokyo. It'd be really cool to grab a coffee or go and say hello in person sometime. Yeah, like I'm, basic, I'm basically in Tokyo. I'm going to leave it like that. Oh, you're so. based in Tokyo. I'm Good. basically in Tokyo. <laughs> you guys get together and make a video. Saitama. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll enjoy it cathartically. Not There's Saitama. <laughs> Nico, that's the next mission. Make a video with her. Yeah, yeah. Let's I, do I, it. I, yeah, I'm, I'm up for it. So, She's full um, of good tips. She's got some great homepage, uh, great uh, sites on how to get to Japan. You should make some music. I'll pay for it. Listen I, I'll music. listen to your SoundCloud. <laughs> Seriously. Hey, by the way, <laughs> and, 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 and please, hook, uh, please link her a SoundCloud. Yeah. <laughs> Loretta, um, did you talk? Did you tell Hiko about your sites about how the the which ones? <laughs> SoundCloud. Oh, SoundCloud. SoundCloud. Oh, okay, yeah. So that one, it's also still in a hiatus. I have to get it back up now that I'm here. But I also started a website called um, JapanScholar.com, where I essentially like aggregated scholarship information and like basically when you go on the website, you're supposed to click like what kind of student or not student that you are. And it's mm -hmm. supposed to filter out like what scholarships you're able to apply to that are accepting applications on that day. So that's actually how I found the scholarship that I was that I'm on right now. I was doing research for my own website, and I was like, oh, well, I'll just take that one. Thanks. Bye. 
Um, but yeah, japanscholar.com. I have like a huge update that's coming out in the next week. Thank you, Golden Week. And then uh, hopefully, I'm also doing a video about the scholarship that I'm on now. So hopefully we can all, whoever is learning or wanting to come over and isn't over yet, hopefully we can all be together soon. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, well, okay, so um, hang around. Just hang around online uh, a bit here. By the way, um, sorry. I was a little bit distracted by one of the comments, but um, yes, oh, gotcha. anyway, um, great to have you on, and uh, everyone go subscribe, and looking forward to actually getting you on again sometime, if that's okay with you. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, okay, so hang around uh, next week, come back, or check out, if you dare, Victor's uh, earlier drama video. Can I call <laughs> it a drama video? It was a drama video. It was. Oh, well, yeah, whatever. And yeah. It was. It is, as, as as people love to say, it is what it is, man. It is what it is, indeed. Um, but this was much better, and I think this is much more dramatic, actually. I, I, there were some pretty... I was impressed. Yeah, there's some moments things, today. I can't believe some of the things she said tonight, yeah. <laughs> a naked elevator ride on death, yeah. And, <laughs> that's and, just, and don't that's remember what she does in the shower. I can't forget what she does in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's nice to know we have some things in common. So, uh, <laughs> come back next week and uh, see you later. Peace. Bye, guys. Good night, guys.